What's going on everybody? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys more ranked single battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Before this video starts, you guys know the deal. Support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you to everybody who has supports the channel. Also guys, I was looking at my analytics page and 80% of my watch time come from people who are not subscribed. So if that's one of you guys, support the channel. Like you already watched my videos, I'm already in your recommended feed. Make it easier for you guys to put me on your subscribers list. So guys, in today's video, we are rocking out with this Galvantula Ninjas set up single team. And I am actually very hyped for this. It just looks so different, so off meta. It caught my eye and I was like, I have to use it. Rocking in this team, we have that Galvantula, Draco Fish, Togekiss, Fall Links, Sylveon, and that Ninjas. The Galvantula and the Ninjas are set up Pokemon, as you guys can tell. Galvantula is rocking the Sticky Web, the Rain Dance in order to get the Rain Rolling, the Light Screen, and the Protect. No attack moves. Just there to set up. Same thing with that ninja S has that focus S so it doesn't get one tap. Has agility, sword stance, protect, and baton pass. So we can boost our speed, boost our attack, and then baton pass out to either like the fish or the fallings. And then we have this Tokus, who is another setup Pokemon with T-Wave, Wish, Yawn, and Air Slash. And then the rest of them, Sylveon, Draco Fish, and Fallings are all our attacking Pokemon. So we're going to try to set up with the Pokemon, then swap into like the Draco Fish or the Sylveon for a special attacker, or the Fallings for another physical attacker, just to sweep out and do some work. But guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. Definitely use it up and let me know how you use it with this team. I know it's like such an off-meta team, but I'm going to try to get some wins for you guys. Also, let me know for question of the day, who is your favorite electric type Pokemon? The reason this is the question of the day is because Galvantula is in this team and he is one of my favorite electric types Pokemon, along with Luxray from Gen 4. But guys, let's get rolling with these battles and try to get some wins with this off-meta team. Look at our team, guys. I cannot wait to get into some battles with it. Just look at the ninjas and Galvantula. I would love to set up and just start sweeping out. This guy's rocking that Obscune Shuckle, Dust Cops, Hydrogon Toxicity, and Grim Snarl Squad right here. I'm probably going to lead my ninjas, try to set up a Sword Dance or an Agility. I'll bring my fish in the back for sure. Fish is definitely coming in the back. He doesn't really have, he has an Electric type, but that's it. I just got to watch out for that. So it's either Fall Links or my Sylveon. I think I'm going to bring in my Sylveon for a special attacker right here and just go from there. Just go from there. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head to the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. I would love to come see you guys, hang out with me, chat it up, all that good stuff. But guys, how did I do? How did I do my little introduction? I kind of shortened it for you guys. I realized it was kind of a little bit too long, but if you guys would like for me to go back to it, just let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to go back to, like, explaining everything out, telling you guys all the moves, telling you guys all the abilities and all that. But I feel like if you guys really want to know that, you guys can just pause the screen or you guys can just see it on the screen, like right there. But we're going to be leading our ninja against this thing. We're going to go for a swords dance here. This little swords dance we're going to be setting up. We're going to be setting up. I don't think he knows what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my boy ninjas. This team's awesome. This team just looks so cool. Let's go. Let's get this plus two attack in here. Swords dance up. I don't think he has no idea what we're doing. What's he going to go for? He's going for the darkest lariat. How much is this going to bring us down? Okay, it's going to bring us down a decent amount. Our speed boost is going to go in. And then now we're just batting passing out. We're just batting passing out here. <laughs> we're just going to batting pass out of here. Swap into... Do we go fish or Sylveon? Who would be the better call? Who would be the better call here? Look at that. Mm, pass that baton out here. Let's go, ninjas. I love it. I love it. <laughs> do we go into the fish? We could go into the fish. Mm, we could go into... Who do we want to have on this? Who do we want to have on this? Let me see the fish's summon real quick. So we have plus one speed, plus two attack. So we're chilling here. We are chilling. Okay, let's go into the fish. Let's go into the fish. Let's rock out with him. We still have our ninjas. He can't do anything in the back end. He cannot do anything. He is just for setting up. That is it. The fish coming in. He's probably going for another Darkest Lariat. Let's see. Yep. Another Darkest Lariat. Pops out here. Should be able to eat that up. Mwah. Give me that. Tasty. That's a tasty little snack. We're just going to go for a fish's friend right here. Give it a little smack ski. Who, who wants it? Who wants it? Plus one attack. Or plus two attack. Plus one speed on the fish, man. On the fish. <laughs> fish is a beast. He's going to have to pop out with somebody with a focus hash in order to take me out, I think. Let's see. Let's see. And the best part about this team is you have two different ways of setting up. You can set up with the Galvantula, get the rain going, and then go into the, what's it called? You can go either rain into the fish, or you can go ninja ass, boost the attack, then go into the fish. I kind of like the ninja ass route, but they're both very good. Let's go, dude. Look at that fish is red. Do some work. We are choice bandit into this. He's just prankstered. So we're just going to waste out these reflect turns right here. We still have our Sylveon in the back end, and I still have my boy ninja ass chilling. But Ninja S doesn't really do much. He's going to set up his screens before he goes out, which is uh, rather smart. Rather smart. Definitely a rather smart move for him before he goes. Yeah, yeah, get it. Get it, baby. See you later, Grimmsnarl. 
Dude, he hits like a truck, but he's setting up them screens, playing a smart cookie call. I gotta see if these are light clay. I have to see if these are light clay. This light clay will boost it to eight turns instead of five. But yo, fish is hilarious. Rico fish is hilarious. Dust cops pops. Okay, a little bit of dust cops action. Gonna put on the pressure. Get out of my face. Stop putting pressure on me. Okay, let's see. Okay, wait, let me go to him. Okay, so it is not late clay. It is just five turns here. We're just gonna go for... We go for a fish turn. Yeah, we're just gonna go for another fish turn. We are choice banned. I was thinking of maybe Dynamaxing, but it's all good. Here we go. Yeah, yeet. How much damage are we gonna do this thing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We get a crit, baby. Draco fish coming in big. Coming in big right here. Let's go. We have a 2v1, basically. Because Ninja, like I said, he's nothing. He is nothing. We should be able to outspeed his toxicity, get a little weapon on him. Then we go into our Sylveon. But I gotta watch out for poison here. But can we one tap this thing? Can we one tap this thing? <laughs> oh my lord. That'd be beautiful. And the best is Ninjask's ability is just that speed boost. So he gets hit, he boosts his speed before he bat and passes out. It's like sick. We get a free speed boost into that Swords Dance. But let's go. Something I realized about the fossil Pokemon is I told I said this in a different episode, but Corsola and Weezing, Glaring Weezing, are their their like makeup. Their design is all for like pollution awareness and all that. So I'm thinking maybe the fossils are pollution awareness because like it's like two animals combined. Maybe like if the waters got polluted, they mix up like that. So I was thinking about that because they're, they're all dinosaurs and fish just like all miscombobulated and all that. So like that's what I think. I think it's like another awareness for like water pollution, which is cool. But he's going to Dynamax this toxicity here. You're going to get fish's rent, boy. You're going to get it. I know we outspeed you. Let's watch this. Yeet. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yo, dude, we brought him down to his focus edge. We brought him down to his focus edge. Max Strike comes out here. Imagine if we eat this up. Oh, my lord. Check a fish, eat it. Oh, no, he did not eat it. He gets a crit. Dude, this setup is beautiful. Are you kidding me? Wow. Um, I'm just going to that ninja ask and wait and waste out turns here. All honesty. All honesty. All right, it's Max Ooze. I'm hoping we outspeed him. I wish we had quick attack on this Sylveon. I wish we had quick attack on the Sylveon. That would guarantee us that outspeed there. But Ninja S is just coming in here to try to soak up a what's it called? To try to soak up a hit here. He's going to a protect. I he should go for like a max ooze or something or something to boost his speed. We're just going for a protect. We're trying to waste out his Dynamax turns. I still have a Dynamax for my Sylveon, which we are gonna go into after this. He's gonna go for a max ooze and boost his special attack here. That was, that was smart by him. Do we eat? Nope, we do not eat. Ninja S gets gone. Eats up one turn. He's now plus one on the special attack board. And now we're going to Dynamax. All we need is one hit. All we need is one hit. I'm kind of scared. I really am kind of scared here. E, kind of scary. Kind of scary. Because I think poison is super effective to us. Is that true? Is that true? Is that? It might be true. It might be true. But Shiny Sylveon comes out here. We're going to boost our HP to 404 right here. We're just going to go for a max Mindstorm for the end here. For the end, I should have max guarded. I should have max guarded. Played it safe. Hands down, should have max guard and played it safe. That should have been the right call. That That is on my fault. That is totally on my fault. I still think we're going to win and eat up a shot. But guys, in that situation, you want to max guard there. Because that would have been his last turn. Would have shrunk him down and just made things a lot more simpler for us and easier for us. It just makes things safer too. Like, it's just a safety cause. Let's see. See, he, he outspeeds. He goes for that max use. We have to eat up now. If we max guard it, we probably could have eat it up easier. But there we go. There we go. Beautiful. We still eat up. But like I said, if I would have max ooze, I would have ate it up 10 times easier and would have just uh, took him out. We're not max ooze, max guard it. He would have shrunk down. We would have, he would have done less damage, and it would have just been easier and safer for us. But there we go. We get that win. Let's go. First battle in the bag. Just dominate. Just what I wanted. Legit. Just what I wanted. Set up with that ninja with that sword stance. Swap into the fish. Fish just ran out. It's just night night. It is just night night after that. Let's go, dude. That is hype. This off meta team is just running things in singles. Oh no! Oh no! This guy has a surf fetch. I am terrified. Actually, not. I love surf fetch. He's so cool. Little duck Pokemon. <laughs> We're gonna be trying to take a different route with this battle. Probably gonna go with the Galvantula lead. Not gonna lie. Probably gonna go with that Galvantula lead and get that rolling and try to get that sticky web out. Potentially set up a rain dance. Or do we. Yeah, because we do set up a rain dance, we want that fish in here. We really do want that fish in here. So we're going to go Sticky Web into potential rain dance. And then do we go Fall Links or Sylveon here? Fall Links or Sylveon. Who would be the better call? Fall Links might be in there. I think Fall Links might take the cake because it does work against that Cuff Fable. Has fighting moves too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go Fall Links. Fall Links, get in here with that Life Orb. I love you, Fall Links. And we have no retreat. We can also set up with that. 
So we're going to be trying to roll out with this squad instead of the ninjas. I really do like the ninjas, though. The ninjas is awesome to set up with that sword stance and just bat and pass out like we just showed off in that last battle. It was awesome. It was awesome. But, oh, man. Guys, I think I put on the wrong music. I think I put on the wrong music. Instead of hitting random, I think I have just, like, the, the normal music on, which is just, like, boring and lame. Which I'm not a fan. Which I'm not a fan, so I'm going to have to change that next battle. I'm going to have to change that next battle. But this guy... Goes in with that toxicity, which is uh, fine by us, right? Right? Sticky web's gonna pop here. We can get a little sticky web action here. Do we have to speed this thing? Yes, we do. Sticky web. Hopefully, he does not take us out in one hit. I wouldn't mind. I'm just gonna use all my things up here. So this thing's gone. He's gonna go for a sledge wave. We eat. Eat it up, Galvi. Galvi. Thank you. Now that we go for a screen. Oh, look at that. Our red card pops in here. Our red card pops in for him. So he goes out. Uh, do we go for a screen here? He's a uh, physical attack in here. I might send out the rain dance. Yeah, you get caught in that sticky web, little boy. You get caught in that sticky web. Get on my face. Now everyone's going down. Uh, rain dance or does sticky web have a turn on it? Let's see. No, it does not. It's just out on the field. It's just out on the field. We go for that rain dance for the fish. I say we do. I say we set up the rain dance for the fish. Let's go, Galvantula. Galvantula will go first. This thing is minus one on the speed board. That is perfectly fine by me. That is perfectly fine by me for you to die next. For you two Dynamax, that is 100% fine by me. Like, not even gonna lie, this thing is minus one on the speed board. Unless he's going for a max airstream, which I doubt it. Maybe going for a max knuckle? I might go for a max knuckle here. But I can totally see it. We're gonna set up this little rain action. Get the rain going. And we're gonna pop into our, what's it called? Our boy. Our boy, our fish. The Draco of the fish. I really do love the Pokemon, like... I don't... Oh, he does have a max airstream. That's tough. But my fish should be, still be able to outspeed. And we are in the rain. Okay. We're chilling. We're chilling. So that thing is normal. Back up on the speed board. But I really do like the uh, the Pokemon. The fossil Pokemon. Like the fishes and all that. But I don't really like their design. Like they're great Pokemon. All in all. They're phenomenal Pokemon. But the only problem is their design. Like the other Pokemon. Like the other fossil Pokemon are amazing. All of them are just amazing design and all that. But these, like, Jerko Fish's stats is unreal. We're gonna go for a Fish's right here, and this move is just dominant with him. We're not even gonna Dynamax because his Dynamax is eh. Let's see how much damage we can do. In the rain! You love to see it! <laughs> Look at this. Different route, taking it a whole different way, and just running it still. We're gonna be running this. We still have our in the back who we can Dynamax. And he's Life Orb. Like, oh wee! Ooh wee! And we still have the Sticky Web out playing. We have the Sticky Web out. <laughs> it's just too easy, man. <laughs> This guy's probably so mad, like, why is it Galvantula running rain? I just don't get it. Oh, this is why, baby. This is why. We don't need the attack boost when we're in the rain. Now we cannot change the weather either because the Dynamax is gone. We just one tap. The Dynamax Surfetch. He's going to go into probably Toxtricity. No, the Drill. Drill, who's probably, uh, Sash. That's why I went out into him. He's probably Sash. And he has Mold Breaker. I think he's Sash and he's going to try to take us out here. We're just going to go for another Fish's Friend. We will outspeed it. We will bring it down to a Sash. Oh, that thing still outspeeds us. Wow. We're going to lower his speed. I don't think we're going to bring it down to a sash, but we're at least going to take it all. Wow. Okay. Okay, I see how this guy's playing. Now, yeet. Fish strength comes out. Still does some work. Oh, he's not even sashed. He's not even sashed. Still on the second. The move wasn't even doubled, and it whooped on him. Hey, right, that's going to be game. I think it's game. I don't, <laughs> I don't think he's taking us out with the, with the toxicity. We're sticky webbed up. You're sticky webbed up. <laughs> this team. <laughs> I can only imagine what it would feel like to be on the other end of this. Like this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my lord. This is just so much fun. This is so funny. That was too funny. That match was literally hilarious. Had me dying the whole time. Like, I can just imagine myself on the other end, like, just getting ran by a Draco fish and a ninja ass. Like, I'd be so mad. Not gonna lie. But it was so funny to use it and just run that guy. This guy's running a mono electric team, it looks like. So, um, how are we gonna take this path? Are we gonna go ninja ass again? We can't go ninja ass again. I'm gonna go ninja ass here. Actually, ninja ass is too. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go ninja ass again. Dude, that's tough. That is honestly tough. I mean, I'm going to go Ninja S, because Ninja S, I just got to set up one sword stance, and we are Sash. I'm going to go Ninja S, I'm going to show off the Fallings here, and I'm going to bounce into that Sylveon. I was going to bring Tokus, but it's all electric. It's all electric. Kind of scared. Kind of scared. Is Fallings just a fighting type? That is my question. Let's see. Yes, just a fighting type. Okay, we should be chilling. 
we should be chilling, not even gonna lie. Who do I think is gonna lead? Um, maybe that Heliolisk or the Vicable, maybe the more Peko. Let's see, let's hit done, let's get going. I know, guys, I know that Electric is super effective to the Ninja Ash, but I have the Sash. I have the Sash, which is awesome. And like I said, I just want to get one Swords Dance up. They hit me, my speed boost goes off, but just like the first battle, and then we can bat pass into our Faultlets. That's what we're going for. So far, we're 2-0 with this team. Doing solid. Doing very good. 2-0. I'm just throwing off everybody. He's going to roll into the Pinchurkin. Is that how you pronounce it? Pinchurkin? Pinchurchin? However you pronounce it. But... I see this thing potentially going for Toxics and all that, but the Electric Surge is here to play. It's here to play. He's not messing around. That was a smart little lead to get that Electric Surge going. Probably Extend to Render as its uh, item. But now we go into a Sword Dance. We 100% outspeed this thing. All day. We are little ninjas. We are little bug. We're going to get him. I love Shed Ninja's design too, and I love how you evolve him, how he shed skin. Like, that is hilarious. That is hilarious. Let's go. Let's get it. Come on, buddy. What are you doing? I think he's uh, thinking of if he should Dynamax or not. Like, I'd be fine if you go into a Max Lightning. That's kind of a waste of a uh, of a Dynamax move. In my opinion. Because he already has that Electric Terminator out. And we are Sash. And it's kind of obvious that a Ninja would be Sash. That or Galvantula is mostly Sash. Trying to set up and do something. He's thinking. Look at look at uh, Pinchurkin's lips. It's like, mm, it's like, what do I do? Hmm. He's going to Dynamax. That's fine by me, baby. That is fine by me, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, that's fine by me. You are going to go into a Max Lightning, and then another Max Lightning. We already know what you're doing. We already know! Wow, little bug sounds, or whatever you are. Sea Urchin sounds. <laughs> Is that the sound a Sea Urchin makes? That exact sound? <laughs> it's pretty funny, but here goes the swords clanging them together. Go Ninja S pulls out the Master Sword. He goes for a Max Lightning. That's fine by me. That is fine by me, buddy. Surprised he didn't go for a stat boosting move. So, focus sash. Yes, sir. And the speed boost. Oh, no. This guy's like, oh, no, baby. This is going to be crazy. The only problem here is, only problem is we got to eat up a shot. We have to eat up a shot. It seems rather slow. I think my uh, my boy will be fine up against it. No, bat and pass. Do it. Flip it up in the air. I love that. I love how it just flips like, yeah. give me that catch. I'm out of here. <laughs> Now we're gonna go into this fall links here. If we can get a Dynamax here, ooh, I'm gonna I'm going after this thing. We're plus two on attack, plus one on speed. I can see how it's speeding this thing. What is he gonna go for? Another Max Lightning? Max Strike! That that that's fine by me. That doesn't boost any stats, and we eat. And we eat. Okay, I'm saying we outspeed this thing. We're gonna drop our speed. Actually, I don't know. No, we're defiant. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Attack. I do we outspeed this thing? Let me, let me hold it. We gotta check out my boy's speed. You gotta check out my boy's speed. 127? Come on. We should be able to outspeed this thing all day. Are we jolly too? Hold up. Are we jolly too? We're adamant. Okay, that's what I still see us outspeeding this thing. I'm gonna plus three on that attack board. <laughs> plus four on the attack. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, if we outspeed, that's night night for this guy. Um, what do we go for here? Max Ooh, no, that would waste our special attack. I'd rather just Or we can go for the max flutter by, but I think stab would be good. That was his special attack. Oh, let me change the terrain. No, it does not change the terrain. Uh, we're still going for the max flutter by here. We're going for it because it's just plus 50 base power. I feel like this, the stab wouldn't bring it up as high. I forget what the stab boost is. I think it's 1.5, so it'll bring it close to it. But max flutter, we'll just go for the max flutter by. Do some work on him. And, and lower his special attack. So maybe we can survive another hit. That's the, that's the plan. If we lower his special attack, we can potentially survive another hit here. Try it. Let's give it a go. Give it a roll. We outspeed. We do outspeed. Beautiful plus four on that attack board. Give it to him. Take him out. Mm hmm. You love to see it, baby. Defiant Falling's coming up big. Add another two to his attack board. Lowering my speed like that. That's what Max Strike does. I forgot. I always thought it did nothing. I always thought it was just like, oh, it was just a neutral move. Just did nothing. Didn't boost anything. But it does drop speed. It does drop speed, which is. Pretty nice, pretty nice for it. Look at my boy falling, he's doing a little dance, like lifting his left, left leg, he's like, yeet, 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 lifting all the legs. <laughs> hilarious, hilarious. The best was when you're playing in the main story of Sword and Shield, when you go through like the ruins and you first see this thing, you're like, what the heck is that? Like, it doesn't even look like a Pokemon at first. It just kind of looks like an obstacle coming out to hit your guy. And you're like, what is it? It's just like running around in the little tunnels. You're like, what, what, like, what is this thing doing? But it's hilarious. It's actually a very strong Pokemon with that no retreat. He's gonna go into the 
the, uh, the Zolt. I was going to say fish, but he's not a fish. And now we're going to go into... Do we go Max Knuckle? Hmm. Hmm. I said we just go into a Flutterby again. Show me we outspeed this thing. We should be able to outspeed it. No, we, we do not. Eat it, buddy. Oh! No fallings! Man, if we had that speed boost, that would have been huge. We go down to our... This is just Sylveon. It's just Sylveon now. He is orbed. That is probably why he took us out. Dang, man. Okay, Ninjask, um, get in there. Do, um, something. <laughs> I don't even know what he's gonna do here. He's just in here. I just wanna get him out the way. Give him a nice little funeral here. Hmm. I'm gonna just agility here. Just annoy this guy. As if we could bat and pass out, that'd be lovely. He's gonna miss. He's gonna miss. We're gonna agility. Reason I'm why I agility to over Sword Stance, because Sylveon has no, uh, physical attack. He does miss. Oh, wee. Ew, wee. Ew, wee. Double speed. Ho, ho, ho. Bat and pass coming out here. <laughs> we gonna be fast. We gonna be fast. Give me another shot here. We have that pixie plate. And we have that pixie plate though. And our hyper voice will boost our special attack one. Woo wee. We just have to eat up a shot. Because I know we'll outspeed. I know we will outspeed. What are you going to go for? Are you going for that bolt beak again? Yep. Miss. Oh! <laughs> no way! No way! Oh, wee! Are you serious? Look at that. Plus three on the speed. We 100% outspeed. Let's trigger our throat spray now with this hyper voice. Take him out in one shot. Say night night to him. Life orb gone. See you later, punk. Boost our special attack. Now we're sitting here. Just when you thought things were going bad. Just when you thought things were going bad. We in this. We in this, baby. Are we going to go 3-0 with this team? I didn't think we were winning this battle. I thought we were going to go 2-1. But now, but now it's a different story. Now it's a totally different story. He goes into the Helio Whisk, which I can see is totally outspeeding. He floats in the air with air balloons. And we can just go into a Hyper Voice. Stabbing. Get it, Sylveon. Get it. Hyper Voice pops here. Take him out. Let's go. Just when you think it was over, we outspeed this Helio Whisk. Let's get it. Because that Draco Zolt would have hit me, and then that Heliolus would have outsped me and hit me. So, I don't think we're eating up two shots, but we get that win. Not gonna lie, guys. I don't think we can ever go 3-0 with this team again. <laughs> we went 3-0 with this team. Absolutely threw off the opponents from every side of the field. They had no idea what was going on. They're like, what is this team? What is this guy doing? But we were just setting up and taking control. Granted, that last match was kind of lucky. He had two missed attacks, which probably would have won him the game. But nah, son, we actually ended up winning that game. So it's down in the books. It says I win. So, like, doesn't show that he missed two attacks. We're good. We get that W. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. If you guys would like to bet this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen. I do recommend it. It is a very fun team to use. Just throw off your opponents and have some fun with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.